f of x equals 3 minus x and g of x equals x squared minus 1. a. Show that f of g of x is not defined. To show that f of g of x is not defined, you need to show that the range of the inner function, which is g of x, is not equal to or a subset of the domain of the outer function, which is f of x. To do this, you need to draw a table and write down the domain and range of each of the functions. f of x is a linear function. The domain of f is given as from minus infinity to 3. Doing a quick sketch of the function f for its given domain, we can see that the range of f of x is going to be from 0 to infinity. And so writing this in the table, the domain of f is from minus infinity to 3 and the range of f is going to be from 0 to infinity. g of x is a parabola shifted one unit down. The domain of g is all real numbers. Sketching g of x, we can see that the range will be from minus 1 to infinity. And so writing this in the table, the domain of g is all real numbers and the range is from minus 1 to infinity. From here we can see that the range of the inner function is not a subset of the domain of the outer function. And so this means the composite function f of g of x is not defined. And so we need to write that the range of the inner function g is not a subset of the domain of the outer function f. And so therefore, f of g of x is not defined. b. Define a restriction g star of g such that f of g star is defined and find f of g star. Here what we need to do is to change or restrict the domain of the function g so that its range is equal to or a subset of the domain of the outer function f. The function g with its restricted domain will then be called g star. The domain of f is from minus infinity to 3. The law's value of the function g is minus 1. And so we need to restrict its domain so that its largest value is 3. In other words, the function g with its restricted domain will have a range from minus 1 to 3. Letting the function g equal 3 and solving for x, we're going to get x squared minus 1 is equal to 3. Solving for x, x squared is equal to 4 and x is equal to plus or minus 2. This means if we define the function g star of x having the rule of g of x, which is x squared minus 1, with the restricted domain from minus 2 to 2, then its range will be from minus 1 to 3, making the composite function f of g star defined. And now finding the rule of f of g star of x, this is going to be f of x squared minus 1. And so wherever there's an x in the function f of x, we're going to replace it with x squared minus 1. And so this is going to be 3 minus x squared minus 1. Simplifying this, this is going to be 3 minus x squared plus 1. And so this is going to be 4 minus x squared. The domain of this composite function is going to be the domain of the inner function. And so the domain of the inner function we know is from minus 2 to 2.